Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss concept related to hash map. Everything what is entry class, what is put method, what is get method, what is initial capacity, what is the load factor. So we are going to discuss each and everything. So before starting, let's discuss what is hash map. Hash map is a collection that stores data in a key value pair. And internally it's known as entry. So what is entry? Entry is basically an inner class which holds four objects. One is hash, key, value, and the next. So internally, uh, if you I show you that hash map uses two data structures, one is array and other is linked list. So this is basically the array, array of inner classes. Uh, you can see that in this case our entry or node class so there are uh, having array of eight indexes and objects are stored in the form of linked list I will explain each and everything how this linked list is getting created how the next value is populated how this bucket or index is selected by our hash map but before starting that one I'll start with the first step first so before starting anything I'll explain what this is so as you can see that in this example I am creating a hash map with initial capacity 8 and load factor is 0.75 so it says initially there will be an array or you can say buckets which is having a storage of 8 elements of type employee ID and integer and the load factor is 75 load factor is basically determines when the resizing of this array or hash map will be done in this case after uh, inserting or on inserting seventh element the resizing will be done I'll show you how so let's debug it so as you can see when I am initializing my table is still null after adding first element my array or you can say hash map of eight elements has been created so right now size is one threshold is six so after reaching my threshold now my threshold is six now if I will insert a new object then this resizing will be done so the resizing is done in the form of uh, you know uh, double the initial array so in this case array is of 8 element now the new array will be created of 16 elements so just watch this 8 uh, elements array f6 now you can see that it has been converted into 16 element array and now threshold is again generated to 12 now when i will insert the 13th element it will again uh, resize it to 16 so this is all about how resizing is done so next thing is that uh, whenever we are using any uh, custom object as a key we need to define two method hash code and equal hash code is used to define a bucket in which bucket our data will be stored like in this case this is and equal determines that whether the same object is already exist or not we are going to add a new object or we are going to overwrite existing object right so i'll explain like how the full put method works put method internally calls a hash method hash method is a internal method implement uh, provided by hash uh, hash map which use our hash code to determine the index on which the object will be stored I'll show the implementation of uh, hash also you can see that it is using our hash code to determine what will be the index there might be a case for two different hash codes the bucket which will be chosen by hash can be same so let's see how it inserts object so let's start with the first object we are debugging this application debug as java application 
so at this time we don't have any entry added in our table now if I press F6 you can see that my table has been populated at 7th index and you can see key is there key which we uh, we have added employee 1 with name java and value is there with 1 there is no next variable yet okay so let's move to the next one so in this case for 1 and 1 we are returning the same hash code so now the index will be same and the data will be stored in the form of linked list so first it will do it will check the index so in this case it will return 7 again as a bucket and then it will perform the equal method now equal method checks both employee id and name so in this case both are not same so it will add a new object into a linked list let's see now if i'll press f6 you can see the index is you know the same index has been used by both of the object and if you will see in the next so next is the employee id one with name hadoop and previous one with the employee id with one and this so this is how the link list is maintained and this is how the bucket has been chosen by put method so next thing is this normally uh, we are not using this thing but sometimes we require to get the overwritten object overwritten object means if we are modifying the existing object you can check at line number 15 that i am in putting one object with employee id as 5 and value is 7 now again i am putting this only the value is different so in this case i am modifying the value of existing employee id so in this case the object will be overridden but what if i want to get the value of previous object so good thing is that put method provides a facility in which if the object is overwritten then it will give you the value of previous object and if it's not overriding then it will provide you a null value so in this case if i'll check f6 f6 now you can see it returning with a 6 value so this is how it overwrite uh, means we can get the old value of uh, overwritten object this is how the put method works now again while getting any object if you want to get any object again it uses the same algorithm it will check for the hash code and after getting the hash code it will uh, check what what, we, what if, uh, it will check for the equal method if the equal method matches then it will return the object now if let's see i want to get the gsf so what i will do i will write integer jsf value is equal to map dot get this thing so first it will check for the hash so hash will be get generated and oh so i need one more bracket to complete it and i'm Printing this value in this one. So let's do it. Run it. So as you can see, it is returning me the four value. So first, it will check for the hash when the bucket will be get generated, and then it will check for the equality. So after that hash, it will check for the equal. Like in this case. It will first come to the bucket. Suppose the bucket three has been selected by the hash code, and then it will compare each and every object with the value. So, sorry, with the key, with equal method. So, if equal method has been uh, say that it's true, then object will be returned. Else, it will return null value. So, this is all about how hash map works. Mm, I don't think so. is there any other thing we need to discuss in if you have any question please post it under this video thanks a lot
Thank you.